Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Praise the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. In <coughs> Jesus' my name. Hallelujah. You're welcome at Pope in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. You're welcome here today. <coughs> this is the number 82. Spirit of living God. You're welcome everywhere where you're watching us from. May the Lord reward you. May the Lord lift you up. May He shine His face upon you and glorify His name on your life. This is the number 82 of Paul. Glory to God. We are here 82 days. We are praying and seeking the Lord and, and praying before the mighty hand of the Lord. You are welcome, everybody, everywhere. We are watching us. May the Lord bless you and lift you up and shine His face upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, go to God. So you welcome everyone, you welcome <coughs> those of you who are online, may God bless you and glorify his name upon your life. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah, praise the Lord, you welcome Sister Kim Miller, you welcome uh, Sister Patricia, may God bless you. In Jesus' my name, we invite everyone, tell everyone, Pope is here, power of prayer is here again, in the name of Jesus, and God will bless you, in Jesus' my name, welcome Sister Patricia, welcome Sister Kim Miller, uh, where you're watching us from, may God bless you, in the mighty name of Jesus, glory to God, in Jesus' my name, this is the number 82, praise the name of the living God. This is day number 82 in the mighty name of Jesus. Go to God. So this is Pastor David Stoller. We are broadcasting live on the Miracle Voice Studios from where a miracle center. Reaching to you with the power of God. Uh, in Jesus' my name. I'm telling you, this week, uh, 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 up to day number 90, we are going to be believing and standing in the Lord. Standing against the Lord. That's what the Lord, that's what the, 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 what the Lord gave us in Jesus' my name. Standing against the odds. You need to stand against the odds and fight by the grace of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the week of standing against the odds. Stand against the odds. You're going to overcome in Jesus' my name. What's always trying to prevent you, to push you to the edge. Stand against it. Hallelujah. It's going to be defeated by the Spirit of the living God. Don't allow to be uh, depleted, to be confused, to be led aside. You welcome Brother Saul in Jesus' my name. Uh, uh, stand against the odds. Hallelujah, President of the Living God. And I'm telling you, uh, this same week again, we are amplifying our broadcast. We are going to go on, on soon. We are going to go on YouTube. Hallelujah. There are some notifications they are doing right now, some softwares they are getting, which are going to enable us to go live on YouTube, to go live on Periscope, to go live on Twitter, to go live on Instagram. So prepare yourself. We shall be sending you the links here, the links for YouTube. Uh, we have had some people cannot watch using Facebook. They can watch using YouTube, some by Instagram, some by Periscope by Twitter so you're gonna be reaching to you by those uh, uh, sites also in the mighty name of Jesus so prepare yourself anytime any day we shall be broadcasting here and then we shall be uh, telling you the links where we are by the Spirit of the Living God in Jesus my name hallelujah so welcome everybody our live viewers thank you for watching us in the mighty name of Jesus and may God bless you and increase you in Jesus my name so get prepared we shall be putting up the links here then you can just click in the link and then you go to the to the side where it is or we should tell you uh, what, what, what what name you can use there and then you go there and then God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ God so let us welcome Pastor Olive to come and lead us into worship and praise and then we shall go into uh, the word when I come back and the prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the number 82. Hallelujah. We have been here 82 days seeking the Lord and praying before the mighty hand of the Lord. May God bless you for being here in the mighty name of Jesus. You're welcome, Pastor Olive. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Pastor Davis, thank you so much. It's true. This is day 82 in the name of Jesus to be here hallelujah yeah pastor davis you know uh when we talk about these things some people just think they are headings but i'm telling you the word of god is always tested and it always comes out to be true so we should keep loving the lord 
Sincerely speaking, we are going against the odds. We are standing against the odds. All you need to do is to keep standing in the name of Jesus. In this week in which we are, we are standing against all odds. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So it's fine and we are going to praise the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. No matter what may come your way, I've told you that the Lord, I mean the, the devil may also come to check on what you're saying. Are you standing for what you are saying or you're just following others? But I'm telling you, when you stand, you're going to emerge victorious in the name of Jesus. So let's arise, come up, let's praise the Lord. Let us pray together in the name of Jesus. Uh, today is day 82 in the name of Jesus. Pastor Davis, God bless you so much for Pope. It's such a great pleasure that we are here and we shall be here until the Lord gives us another program, but we are still here. Do not mind about the quarantine. Do not mind about the curfews. Let's keep trusting in the Lord in the name of Jesus. Just say, so we're going up to the high places we going up to the highest places we going up to the high places pull the devil's kingdom down we going up to the high places we going up to the highest places we going up to the high places to pull the devil's kingdom down going up we going up to the high places going up to the highest places we going up to the highest places you need to awaken somebody. <laughs> We're going up to the highest places. So I want you to awaken somebody. There are some people that I haven't yet seen. Sister Patricia, Sister Donna. I'm sorry, I, I am pronouncing your name right. Sister Regina, our sisters, the love crew. We haven't, I don't know, but I'm seeing just a few of us here. Let's come aboard. The pastor, pastor, is it Pastor Eric? Yeah, awaken somebody, sister, rest. Give somebody a call as we are still praising. Prepare them for the word in the name of Jesus. We're going up to the highest places. If you're there and your name has not been mentioned, it's okay for you to say present. Yeah, it's okay for us to roll call at Pope. Hallelujah. Awaken somebody, invite somebody new in the name of Jesus. And let's move on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Call upon somebody. Give them a call. Awaken them in the mighty name of Jesus. And let's go up to the highest places. We going up to the high places. We going up to the high. Yes, yeah, Sister Joan, you're very welcome in the name of Jesus. We up to the high places to pull the devil's kingdom down. We going up to the high places. We going up to the high places. We going up to the high places to pull the devil's kingdom down. Whose report shall you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Whose report shall you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Whose report? There is a brother, a sister I don't know. This is a pastor, Jacob. Whose report shall you believe? Shall believe the report of the Lord. His report says, I am free. His report says, I am healed. Sister Jessica, I am free. And his report says, Victory. Whose report shall you believe? I shall believe the report of the Lord. Whose report shall you believe? I shall believe the report of the Lord. His report says I am free. And his report says I am healed. His report says I am rich. And his report says victory. Whose report shall you believe? I shall believe the report of the Lord. Whose report shall you believe? 
I shall believe the report of the Lord. Whose report shall you believe? I shall believe the report of the Lord. His report says I am free. You're not on a slave. Report says I am healed. You're not sick. His report says I am rich. You're no longer poor. The report says victory. We show the victory. The victory, the victory, whose report shall you believe? I shall believe the report of the Lord. Whose report shall you believe? I shall believe the report of the Lord. His report says I am free, and his report says I am healed. His report says I am rich, and his report says victory. Hey, yeah, that is what his report says. No matter what may come your way, that sickness may still be there, but in Jesus' name, you are healed in the name of Jesus. You may not have a penny in your wallet, but his report says you are rich, and you are pretty filthy rich in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He has given me victory, I will lift him higher, Jehovah, I will lift him higher, oh, I will lift him higher, oh, Brother Charles, you're welcome, just turn online and enjoy pop, he has given me victory, I will lift you higher, Jehovah, I will lift you higher, and higher, and I am, you have given us victory, we will lift you higher, Jehovah, we will lift you higher, oh, we will lift you, brother soul, lift him higher, oh, he will lift him higher, oh, we will lift you higher, Jehovah, we will lift you higher, and I am, and I am, he has given us victory, we will lift him higher, Jehovah, we will lift you higher, oh, we will lift you higher, Jehovah, we will lift you higher, we will lift you higher, Jehovah, we will lift you higher, higher. I am. He has given us victory. We will lift him higher. Jehovah, we will lift you higher. Higher, higher. Every day, we will lift you, Jesus, higher. Every day, higher, higher. Every day, we will lift you, Jesus, higher. Every day, higher. Jesus, I am every day. I am, I am every day. We will lift you, Jesus, I am every day. I am every day. We will lift you, Jesus, I am every day. I am, I am every day. We will lift you, Jesus, I am every day. Every day we will lift you, Jesus, higher. Every day, higher, higher. Every day we will lift you, Jesus, higher. higher, higher. Every day we will lift you, Jesus, higher. Every day, higher, higher. Every day we will lift you, Jesus, higher. All around, all around, everywhere I look, your love is all around, all around, all around, everywhere I look, your love is all around, in the east, all around, all around, everywhere I look, your love is all around, all around, even in the house, round, 
Everywhere I look, your love is all around. When I look to the left, I see Satan has fallen. On the right, I see Satan has fallen. When I look to the front, I see Satan has fallen. Mm -mm -ah, I see Satan has fallen. Mm -hmm. I see Satan has fallen. When I look to the front, I see Satan has fallen. To the front, I see Satan has fallen. When I look to the back, I see Satan has fallen. I have seen, seen, seen the downfall of Satan. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to God. I have seen, seen the downfall of Satan. Glory be to God. Amen. I have seen, seen the victory of Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to God, I have seen, seen the victory of Jesus. Glory be to God, amen. I have seen, seen the victory of Jesus. Glory be to God, glory be to Jesus. I have seen, seen the victory of Jesus. Glory be to Jesus, amen. And when I look to the front, I see Jesus has conquered. When I look to the back, I see Jesus has conquered. When I look to my left, I see Jesus has conquered. And when I look to the right, I see Jesus has conquered. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. See, Jesus has conquered. Oh, 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 Satan has fallen. Oh, Satan has fallen. Oh, Satan has fallen. Oh. Satan has fallen, hallelujah, oh hallelujah, hallelujah, oh hallelujah, oh hallelujah, 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 I have seen, seen the victory of Jesus, glory be to God, glory be to Jesus, I have seen, Seen the victory of Jesus, glory be to God, amen. I have seen, seen the victory of Jesus, glory be to God, glory be to Jesus. I have seen, seen, seen the victory of Jesus, glory be to God, amen. And when I look to your life, I see Jesus has conquered, and when I look to his life, Jesus has conquered. When I look to the lights, I see Jesus has conquered. When I look to my life, I see Jesus has conquered. When I look to your life, I see Satan has fallen. To the left, I see Satan has fallen. When I look to the left, I see Satan has fallen. When I look to the east, I see Satan has fallen. For sin, sin, the victory of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. I have seen, seen the victory of Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen. And I have seen, seen the victory of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. I have seen, seen the victory of Jesus. If you've seen the victory of Jesus, let us praise together. Oh, I have seen, seen the victory of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. I have seen, seen the victory of Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen. And I have seen, seen the downfall of Satan. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. I have seen, Seen the downfall of Satan, glory be to God, amen. And when I look to the east, I see Satan has fallen. When I look to the right, I see Satan has fallen. When I look to my front, I see Satan has fallen. When I look to the back, 
I see Satan has fallen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Let hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. Glory, glory, Lord. You are a mighty one. Glory, glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. Glory, glory, Lord. You are a mighty God. You are a mighty God. Mighty God. You are a mighty God. God, glory, glory, Lord, we give you glory, Lord, glory, glory, Lord, you are the mighty God, glory, glory, Lord, we give you glory, Lord, glory, glory, Lord, you are the mighty God, you are the mighty God. My mighty God, you are the mighty God. Oh, you are the mighty God, you are the mighty God. Mighty God, you are the mighty Lord, you are the mighty God. Glory, glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. Glory, glory, Lord, you are the mighty God. Mighty God, you are the mighty God. 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 Hallelujah. We serve a mighty God. The angels bow down and the heavens adore him. What a mighty God. We serve. What a mighty God. We serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. The angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a healing God we serve. What a healing God we serve. The angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a healing God we serve. What a mighty king we serve. What a mighty king we serve. The angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a healing God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. The angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. 
Yeah, we serve a mighty God, and he's the one who does miracles. Hallelujah. He performs miracles, and he's going to do it in your life. We are going to worship the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. If I haven't mentioned your name and your online, it's okay for you to say present. Hallelujah. Just stand there, and I'm listening, and I'm watching. In the name of Jesus, we bless the Lord for you. For our first time viewers, I always pray special blessing in the name of Jesus. There is a sister who has just shown up. I haven't seen your name, but one thing I know is that I'm praying for the uh, grace of God. I'm praying for a special miracle into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's time for us to worship the Lord. But if I've not mentioned your name, instead of taking offense, just say I'm around. And when I see that you're around, I'll say hi to you in the name of Jesus. Today I'm in a mood of greeting and greeting literally everybody who is online. Hallelujah. So it's okay for you to send in a message and you say I'm on, I'm online in the name of Jesus. Unless you just want to stay undercover, but may God still reward you if you're behind there and you're saying with me, I want to remain unrecognized. It's okay. In the name of Jesus, let's worship the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Say 
has done great things. He has done great things. He has done great things. Even in your life today, He will do great things. Bless His holy, holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. God is within me. Bless his holy, holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy, holy name you have done great things you have done great things you have done great things I bless you holy name God, you're so good. God, you're so good. God, you're so good. You're so good to me. God, you're so God is so good, is so good to me. God, you're so good. God, you're so you know there are times when God does too much and you cannot explain everything. The song in your mouth or your on your lips should be God is so good and he has done great things. God, you're so good. You're so good to me. God, you're so good. God, you're so good. He's so good. You're so good, God, you're so good, you're so good to me. Once again, God is so good, God is so it up you're the glory of the nations lord you're high and lift it up you're the god of all the earth you are high and lift it up you're the creator my redeemer and i will boast in knowing you for you I am lifted up. You're the glory of the nations. You are I am lifted up. Angela, you're welcome. I've seen you around. Oh the earth, you are I am lifted up. Creator, redeemer, and I will. Boasting knowing you, 
boast about knowing the Lord. Creator, Redeemer, and I will boast in knowing you. Lord, could I do anything without you, Lord? What could I do? You are my Savior, my provider, and you're my friend. Mamba ni Yesu, Mamba, Mamba means a rock. I do anything without you, Lord. What could I do? You are my comfort, my provider, and my refuge. Mamba ni Yesu, Mamba, Mamba ni Yesu, Mamba. Mamba ni Yesu, Mamba, Mamba ni Yesu, Mamba, Mamba, Mamba ni Yesu, Mamba ni Yesu, Mamba. He's our rock this morning, Mamba. Wow. 
We worship you, oh God. You are worthy to be praised. We give you all the glory. We worship you, oh God. You are worthy to be praised. It is Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. It is Jesus in my soul. The hem of his garment and his blood has made me whole. It is Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. It is Jesus in my soul. For I have touched the hem of his garment, and his blood has made me whole. Hallelujah, God of God. Hallelujah, God of God. In Jesus' my name, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. You're welcome at the power of prayer. Hallelujah. This is the power of prayer. <coughs> welcome, Sister Mickey. Amen. In Jesus' my name, this is the power of prayer. God of God. Amen. You're welcome everywhere, whenever you're watching us from. Amen. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus, yeah. people who have been here. Mm -hmm. uh, in Jesus' my name, I think Pastor Oliver already welcomed you. I welcome yeah. the new ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Welcome, Sister Mick, online in Jesus' my name. May God bless you yeah. as you watch us online by the Spirit of the Living God. And God is going to prosper you and multiply you in Jesus' my name. Thank you, Pastor Oliver, for the ministry you're which welcome. you're doing here uh, to minister to the people of God, leading them into worship and praise in the mighty name Glory of Jesus. May Jesus. God bless you. And Amen. give you our desires in Jesus, Amen. man. You are welcome at all. Glory to God. This is the power of prayer. Hallelujah. This is the power of prayer. Thank you, Sister Jessica. You're welcome in the name of Jesus. This is the power of prayer. We are on day number 82. Think about it. 82 days of prayer. Hallelujah. You think you're going to remain the same? That is the life from the pit of the hell. You are not going to remain the same. Your life is being upgraded. You're going to another upper level in the mighty name of jesus i'm telling you you're not gonna remain the same hallelujah god is changing your life up is taking you to greatness in jesus mother name hallelujah praise the lord i'm telling you we are going there we are going on day number 80 hallelujah this week i told you here at pope the 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 the, the week the weeks the weeks are not seven days here at pope the weeks and are ten days go to god we are going on day number 90 hallelujah president of the living god we are going on day number 90 we are on day 82 we remain with eight days to reach day number 90 i already told you day number 90 we shall be having holy communion go to god 90 is a number of god hallelujah praise the lord 90 is the number of God. Glory to God. So you're going on day number 90. <laughs> Glory to God. My God. My God. I can't even imagine it that you're going to be here 90 days praying and interesting before the face of the Lord. And people think uh, we are going to remain the same. Our finances are going to remain the same. 90 days we are sowing our seeds. We are believing God and we are praying. And you think we are going to 
Father, you may say that is not possible. It has never happened. It will not happen. There is no person in history who has ever come out to seek the face of the God of Israel, the God of Isaac, Jacob, and uh, and and Abraham, hallelujah. There is no person who has ever come out to seek the name of the living God and he has not answered back. He's going to answer back your plea. He's going to take you back from that dungeon, hallelujah. He's going to move you from that hole where you are. He's taking you to glory. The Bible clearly says that he takes us from glory to glory. You hear that? From glory to glory. Not from dust to dust. No way, no way. That's not our God. He takes us from glory to glory. He's going to glorify his name upon your life. He's going to lift you up out of that dungeon. I don't care where you are. Hallelujah. Jehovah is not limited. Glory to God. I don't care where you are. You may say, Pastor Davis, do you know where I am? Hallelujah. Do you know what ditch, what ditch I am? Do you know what problems I'm in? Do you know where I'm stuck? I don't care where you're stuck. One thing I care about is our God is an awesome God. Our God is the lift of people from the dust and makes them sit with kings. That is the God we are talking about. He can lift you from a muddy clay and make you sit with kings. That is the God we are talking about. We are not talking about Rubari. We are not talking about ba Baal. We are not talking about Ashina. We are not talking about Eda. We are talking about Jehovah. We are talking about Yahweh. We are talking about the I Am. We are talking about Jesus Christ. We are talking about the Father of our spirits. We are talking about the Holy Ghost. He knows how to lift man. You see, clearly says, when the devil lifts up the dust, you raise up the standard of the of the flood of the Holy Ghost. Oh God. When the devil lifts up the dust, you raise up the flood of the Holy Ghost. You hear that? That is a God we are talking about. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. That is the Lord we are talking about. It's a God that raises up a flood of the Holy Ghost. When the devil is trying to lift up the dust, I'm telling you, have you ever seen when the dust is lifted up and the rain comes down? What happens? It's like dust has never existed. That's what I'm talking about. That's what the God is going to do in your life. He's going to erase away your misery and you'll be like it has never happened in your life. Go to God is gonna raise away your suffering. It will be like it has never happened in your life. It's going to raise away that sickness and disease. And it will be like it has never happened in your life. I'm telling you. People will look at you and say, we remember you were sick of HIV. What happened? We remember cancer was going to kill you. What happened? And you tell them, my God raised up the flood. <laughs> he raised up the flood of the Holy Ghost. And that was no more. If those things will just remain in your history. That once you were sick, I'm telling you, those things things will just remain in your history. That once you are poor, those things will just remain in your history. That once you are under burdens, those things will just remain in history. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, they'll reach a time when even history cannot work. It'll only be you to remind the people. You will tell the people one time I slept in Chibao and you say, <laughs> you slept the way in Chibao. I live that tell the people one time I was a renter, hallelujah, they will say, ha, ha, ha. Oh, you want to tell stories, they will not even believe that you are the one testifying, one time you will tell them uh, the way I had reached, I could not even believe that they will say, ha, ha. Ah, you guys, you are okay. want to tell stories. You born again people. You want to show us how good your God is. You want to prove to us you. You, you are saying the way you look right now. You are saying you could not feed your stomach. They will even doubt what you are saying. I'm telling you. That's how excellent our God is. Hallelujah. He has told us already in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 12, 15, that if, if I shut up the heavens, there is no rain, and I send the locusts and the epidemics. Hallelujah. If my people People who are called by my name, who humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then will I hear from above and come down and heal their land. That's what he's going to do. He told it to us at Pope. We have seen him do that. He's going to rescue you. You are getting out of mortgage. You are not hearing what I'm talking about. You are getting out of mortgage. You are getting out of rent by the Spirit of the Living God. Your debts are going to be cancelled. He's a God that cancels debts. Hallelujah. He's a Lord our God, he knows the way of how to cancel debts. I'm telling you, it's going to happen upon your life. 
higher and higher by the spirit of the living God in Jesus mighty name Jehovah we love you Jehovah we praise you you are an awesome God you are a powerful Lord you are a glorious God Lord we exalt you you are above everything my God you are above every power we have ever seen you are above every glory of ever witness my Lord descend down with your glory and your power and show your majesty in the mighty name of Jesus it is going to happen to you by the spirit of the living God in Jesus mighty name hallelujah this week brethren the Lord has told us that we need to stand odds hallelujah when we stand against the odds god will empower us the power of god he let me tell you something where the power of god can never work where there is no test did you hear that the power of god can never work where there is no test Amen. The test will come. You have to pass it. How? Not by your works, not by your spanner, not by your power, but by the spirit of the living God, by the power of God backing you. Hallelujah. Without a test, there cannot be no testimony. Hallelujah. How can you say, I passed without sitting the test? Are you hearing what I'm talking about? How can you stand up and say, I pass and I got a degree? Let me talk to Sister Mickey. She understands that. How can you say, Sister Mickey, that you passed? The that you have that degree, hallelujah, and you never pass the test. You have to pass the test of exams. You must sit the exams. Are you hearing that? Sister Mick understands what I'm saying. You must sit the exams and you pass them. Then you can raise up your hands and say, I have a degree. And then they say, How do you get it? I pass the exams. Hallelujah. Our God is a God that empowers us to pass. Our God is a God that empowers us to pass with excellence. Why? He empowers us with his power. Glory to God. That's why I'm telling you, this week we are going to stand against every odd. Hallelujah, God, God. This is the week of standing up against every odd in our lives. Hallelujah. Don't shackle down. God, God. Stand up by the glory of the living God. Stand against the odds against the odds in Jesus mighty name hallelujah and you will see what God will do you will see his power will be added on to you you will see his anointing and his glory will be with you whenever we arise out of the shackles and say no way our God is able to do great and mad things our God is able to take me out of this ditch our you will see the power of God will be added upon you. Hallelujah. That's what Jehovah is. God of God. He's a God that never fails. He's a God that never shackled down. He's a children. He's always ready with his extended arm. He is always ready with his extended arm to pull out his people. But the question is one. Will you stand against the odds and trust him? Will you stand when things are not working the way they should work? Will you still stand and say you are Jehovah? You are my God. You are my power. I'll trust in you. I'll hide in you. I have no other hiding place. You are the one I have. You are the one I have. You are the rock, my rock. You are the God, my God. I'll be with you. I'll not shackle down. I'll reign with you. I'll banaka with you. No matter what is happening, that's when the power of God will come out and be added on to you. That's what he said. Stand against the odds. It doesn't matter how the odds are looking. Stand against the odds and stay standing and say, No way. He will rescue me. He promised me. He will remove me from the commander. Yeah. He will remove me. I will trust in the Cambro or the buyer. Glory to God. Stand against the odds. Hallelujah. I know you are telling me, Pastor Davis, you know what is happening. This is happening. Yes, that's when our God is about to be revealed. Go to God. When the odds are not on your side, it is a season for our God to be revealed. In the name of Jesus, it is not a season to cry. It is not a season to shackle down. Go to God. Give up. No way. It is a season to stand Stand against the odds. Somebody says stand against the odds. Somebody says stand against the odds. The Lord is calling us in these 90 days. When you're going to.
Enter. No, you know, number 90 is a number of God. Glory to God. When you're going to enter into 90 days, the Lord is calling us to stand against the odds. Hallelujah. When you're about to break through, glory to God. When you're about to reach excellence, hallelujah. The enemy comes up and raises up his ugly head to show us, ah, ah, you're not going anywhere. God is not yet here. What you need to do is to stand against the odds. Hallelujah. Stand against the odds. Glory to God. You will see the power of God. They told Sadrach, we are going to throw in the fire. They said, if you need to throw us in the fire, we are not going to worship your idols. We are not bowing down to the image. Go in the fire. Our God will rescue us. And even if he doesn't rescue us, let it be known to you, O king, that in, in Babylon there were guys that refused to bow down to the image because they trusted in their God. Did it remain in the history of Babylon? You hear that? You hear that? These guys were ready and they stood against the odds. Who was first in the fire? The Lord. Did you hear that? When the Lord saw that these guys had refused and they stood against the odds, he was the first in the fire. By the time they threw their side of message in Abednego, he was already there. Whoa, he's a consuming fire. Hebrews, uh, Hebrews, uh, Hebrews 12 says that. Hebrews chapter 12 says he's a consuming fire. Glory to God. So I'm telling you, brother and sister, these are times and seasons uh, to stand against the odds. Glory to God. I don't know what odds are fighting you. I don't know what odds you're having over there. But I'm telling you, you need to stand against the odds. Our God is able to rescue and deliver. He's, uh, he's not an idol. Glory to God. He's not an idol. Glory to God. Hebrews 12, verse 22. For our God is a consuming fire. Glory to God. Praise the name of the living God. Let us read the scripture. We are in Exodus chapter 1. Exodus chapter 1. Let us run there very quickly and we share the word of God and then we come back to pray. I feel the fire of God to pray here. The fire of God has already come here. I feel the fire to pray for you in Jesus' my name. Better not leave and be online. We are going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. I feel the power of God. Call people and tell them, share the link. I'm telling you, share the link with people. Share the link on your YouTube, on your Instagram, on your Twitter. Hallelujah. Let us make the power of God go everywhere. Hallelujah. And the word of the Lord to go everywhere. People are sharing all kinds of things which are good and bad. Hallelujah. Let us also do something. Hallelujah. Let us share the power of God to people. Let us share the link on our on, on, on our wall, hallelujah, on our Facebook wall, on our WhatsApp groups, on our YouTube, on our Instagram, on our whatsoever, whatsoever channel you know, you even may be knowing channels we don't know, share there the power of God is okay, glory to God, to share this link it is okay, don't say Pastor Davis I wanted to share but I don't know whether I have permission to share, share the link, you have the permission to share, glory to God, make people understand the power of God and the word of the Lord. Hallelujah, God, God. People will be changed. The Bible says it's the word that waters the heart. And the heart changes from that of a rock to the heart of meat. Where the Lord can do his work and speak to it. Glory to God. Exodus chapter 1. Exodus chapter 1. Verse number 8. That's where we're starting from. Exodus chapter 1. Verse number 8. The Bible says... The Bible says, now, okay, let's begin on verse 7. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 1, verse 7. The Bible says, but the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly, multiplied, and grew exceedingly mightier. Hallelujah. And the land was filled with them. And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly, multiplied, and grew exceedingly mighty, and the land was filled with them. Now there arose a new king over Egypt, who did not know Joseph. You hear that? You hear that? Now there arose a new king over Egypt, who did not know Joseph. And he said to his people, Look, the people of the children of Israel are more, than, are more and mightier than we. 
Come, let us deal schedule with them, lest they multiply. And it happened in the event of war that they also join with our enemies and fight against us and go out of the land. Therefore, they set tax masters over them to afflict them with their burdens and the beautiful Pharaoh supply cities, Pithom and Ramesh. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew, and they were in dread of the children of Israel. So the Egyptians made the children of Israel serve with liquor, and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage in mortar, in brick, and in the manner of service in the field, or the service in which they made them suffer was in liquor. Then the king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives, of whom the name of one was Shipla, and the name of the other was Puwa, and he said, These are water. Egypt uh, uh, and the king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives, hallelujah, God, God, of whom the names of the one was Shifla and the name of the other was Pua. And he said, when you do the duties of the midwife for the Hebrew women uh, and see them on the bath stools, uh, if, if it is a son, uh, then you shall kill him. But if it is a daughter, then you shall, shall live. But the midwives fear God and do not do as the king of Egypt commanded them, but save the male child alive. So the king of Egypt called the midwives and said to them, Why have you done this thing and save the male child alive? And the midwives said to the Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women are not like the Egyptians women, for when they are for they are lively and give birth before the midwives come to them. Therefore, God dealt with the midwives, and the people multiplied and grew very mighty. And so it was, because the midwives feared God, that he provided households for them. So Pharaoh commanded all his people, saying, Every son who is born you shall cast into the river, and every daughter you shall save alive. And a man, and now listen to this, and a man, Alabakashaya, of the house of Levi, went and took a wife of the daughter of Revi, so the woman conceived and bore a son. And when she saw that he was a beautiful child, she hid him three months. But when she could no longer hide him, she took a knuckle of brushes for him and doubled it with tar and asaph and peach, and put the child in it and laid it upon the leads by the liver banks. And this sister took a far off to know what would be done to him. Then the daughter of Pharaoh came down to bathe at the river, and her maidens walked along the river, and when she saw the ark among the lead, she sent her maid to get it, and when she opened it, she saw the child, and behold, the baby wept, so she had compassion on him and said, this is one of the Hebrew children, you hear that, I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, we need to stand against the odds. Praise the name of God. We need to wake up as children of God and stand against the odds. Praise the name of the living God. I'm telling you, the Bible clearly says that Joseph came to Egypt and saved Egypt from anger and all of the world by the scheme of the wisdom of God which God had given him. And I'm telling you, the Bible clearly says, and he was a governor of Egypt. Hallelujah. He was a prime minister of Egypt and he ruled all Egypt. The only fellow was higher in him in authority in the throne, not in governance. Hallelujah. Whatsoever he said is the word that ruled. Joseph was a mighty man. I'm telling you, what is surprising is one, how can Joseph leave the prime ministership and die, hallelujah, and there is no other Joseph to replace him, did you hear that, how can he leave the prime minister work and there is no person else to minister, to stand in the gap, that means two things, People were not ready to hear what Joseph was saying. Hallelujah. They were, uh, 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 they were just other man. They were not ready to stand against the odds. Hallelujah. Or Joseph did not prepare somebody to succeed him in that position. God had given them Egypt. Hallelujah. So that they can rule over Egypt. Hallelujah. And then subdue it. Hallelujah. And leave. Glory to God in power, but it is surprising Joseph gets off the throne when there is no person who is ready to take over from Joseph. There is no person who has learned from the wisdom of Joseph. There is no person who is asking of the Lord that when Joseph leaves, I must be there next. Even there is no person whom Joseph trained to take over after him. I'm telling you, as children of God, we must learn and arise. That's why Pope is here. Why? To raise more disciples. Go to God. To raise more people on fire for the Lord. Why? To teach a number of people the ways of the Lord and the word of the Lord. So that their spirits can be rejuvenated and revived in our pain. 
God, God, so that they can be ambassadors, hallelujah, so that they can be missionaries, hallelujah, so that they can be disciples of our Lord, they can be disciples of others, they can know that truth and what to say. Glory to God, so that they can make other popes there, they can be pop extensions. Glory to God, that's why we are here. That is a problem that Joseph did, he did not train somebody to succeed him. That's why the children of Israel ended up suffering. There was nobody to succeed them. There was nobody to stand against the odds. All of them, they were at their homes, just enjoying Goshen. Just enjoying the fatherlands of Goshen. Enjoying the goodness of Goshen. There was no ready to, somebody was not ready to sacrifice and say, I will stand in, hallelujah, and be against the odds. You hear that? So that I may take over from Joseph. So that our people are secured. People thought things are okay. That's what Christians are doing right now. We are telling them, for us we shall be in the mission of prayer and seeking the Lord and praying, hallelujah. You go there and enter positions of leadership, hallelujah. Go there and enter political offices, hallelujah. Go there and enter campaigns. Overtake them. Overtake the judiciary, hallelujah. Overtake the, the judiciary, the, 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 the Congress, hallelujah, the Senate, the Parliament. Overtake there. Overtake the LC chairman. Overtake this one, hallelujah. Some of them are still sleeping their cell it is okay as long as joseph is there what will happen joseph can die who is ready to take over when there is nobody ready to take over they will forget all about joseph why these are wicked people glory to god these are wicked people there is no one who's going to support the kingdom of your father what are you doing why are you leaving the support of the kingdom of your father in someone's hands who is wicked? Why don't you arise up? These are seasons of signing against the odds. I'm telling you, if there was somebody who was ready to take over, hallelujah, when Joseph was dying, if there was somebody who was already trained, hallelujah, to take over from Joseph before Joseph died, he would have told the Pharaoh who was there that this is a person who's going to succeed me. You need his wisdom. He's wise like me. I've trained him. I've commissioned him. The spirit of God is upon him. Uh, do you know Joseph died with a spirit which was upon him? These guys, now let me tell it to you. These guys who were serving under the anointing, they had a spirit of God upon them. Did you hear that? They had a spirit of God upon them. Hallelujah. Moses released it upon Joshua. You didn't hear what I just said. Moses released the spirit which was upon him of wisdom and knowledge and understanding upon Joshua. You hear that? You hear that? When Jacob was dying, he released it upon Manasseh and Ephraim. Did you hear that? Even Jacob changed the blessing and said, Israel shall be blessed through Ephraim and Manasseh, even up to death. It is still the case. That was, ja that was Jacob. When Elijah was living, he changed his spirit and gave it to who? To Elisa. That's why you see, because Gehazi was in line to receive a, a triple anointing, hallelujah, was not ready, hallelujah, God, God, he was just a liar to Elisa, hallelujah, he never served the master in truth, glory to God, he missed the anointing, he missed the triple anointing, hallelujah, and what did Elisa do, Elisa died with the anointing, you didn't hear what I just said, Elisa died with the anointing to the grave, Man, they buried him with the spirit which was with him. To an extent that uh, there is a young man in the battle. Huh? They were fighting, glory to God. And the Philistines were so much upon them. Hallelujah. And they, they, they were running with the dead body, running away, glory to God. The Israelites were taking off on Jabala. They were running away. And then by mistake, they threw this man who was dead to the grave of Elisa. The Bible says the man went down. You know really what I'm talking about. The man went down the grove. The Elisa was already dead. And he was bones. The man went down. And his body tucked the bones of Elisa. When the bones tucked the bones of Elisa. The Bible said the spirit which was in the bones. Hallelujah. Put out on the, the dead body. And the dead body came to life. Did you hear that? The dead body came to life and the man came out of the grave. The man died with the anointing. 
because there was nobody who was ready to stand against the odds to take the anointing from them. You think just taking the anointing from this man of God is just either like you think? No way! You must stand against the odds. Elisa, before he took the anointing from Elijah, hallelujah, he was chased three times. Who was chasing him? Eli Elijah. Elijah chased him three times. He never wanted to give him the anointing. He wanted to go with it. You're not hearing what I'm talking about. Elijah wanted to go with the anointing. He never wanted to leave it to Elisa. Three instances. The man is chasing him. Hallelujah. Go to God. Hallelujah, God, God. The man is just in three ways. It came to pass Second Kings chapter 1. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And it came to pass when the Lord was about to take Elijah into heaven by the whirlwind that Elijah went with Elisa to Gilgal. That is the first place. Hallelujah. And, and, and then Elijah said to Elisa, stay here, please. Elijah is doing what? He's going. You hear what he's telling to Elisa? He's telling, the man has burnt his 12 tractors to follow the anointing. He's standing against every old. Hallelujah. He has taken care of his business away. Glory to God. He sold, up, he sold the 12 tractors and gave it to the people. All the resources gave to the people. He's following the anointing. Now Elijah wants to go to heaven. Hallelujah. He wants to leave this man empty. Did you hear that? He wants to leave this man what? Empty. Did you hear that? He's telling him, stay here in Galuga. In Gilag. Over Giriga, over whatsoever. Stay here in Galuga. Karogereda Galuga. Stay here in Galuga. Praise the name of the living God. And Elijah and Elisa says, ah, ah, I'm not going to stay here in Galuga. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, please, for the Lord has sent me to Bezuel. Hallelujah. But Elisa said, as the Lord lives, as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they went together to Bezuel. They arrived in Bezuel. Hallelujah. What did Elisa say? Elijah again says, glory to God. And Elijah said to him, Elisa, stay here, please. For the Lord has sent me to Jericho. What did Elisa say? Elisa said, I am not going to leave you. I am going with you to Jericho. Those are two places. He tells him to live in Galuga. The man refused because he knows what is happening. This man is going. He wants to run away with the anointing, leaving me nothing. And he's standing again and said, Oh, he said, Where are you going? I'm going. You are just joking. Glory to God. They go to, 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 to Bethel. The man tell him, Say in Bethel, I'm going to Jericho. And the man said, I'm not staying. I'm going. Where you are going, I'm going. Hallelujah. And they went to Jericho. Hallelujah. And the sons of the prophets tell Elisa and said to him, Do you know that the Lord will take your master from you over today? And he answered, Yes, I know. Keep quiet. You think I don't know? The man knew Elijah. He knew Elijah was a man of God, but he was mean. He was mean with the anointing. He wants to go with it. Elisa is telling them, I know the man is going, and I know him. He's a mean man. He's telling me to stay here so that he can go, leaving me nothing. But he's joking. Where he's going, I'm going. This man is standing against the odds. You didn't hear what I just said. We need to stand against every odd. Glory to God. Some of us, we are very lazy with the anointing. We need to scrap every scrap we can scrap away from the anointing. Glory to God. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, we need to crack and on the anointing. If we see a man of God was the anointing, a woman of God was the anointing, we need to crack on him and scrap what we can scrap. I'm not saying be being showered and, and, and showardness. No. What I mean in obedience and in serving. 
Glory to God. In being faithful with the anointing. Glory to God. In seeing that we we let makanea wudi ya uja balaya. To see that we lay in all the humility until we receive what we are supposed to receive, which is our inheritance. Elisha was a servant of Elijah. He was supposed to receive every inheritance. Hallelujah. But this guy, Elijah, is too mean that he wants to leave him no inheritance. <laughs> The man must stand against every odd to see that he enters the inheritance. That's what it means. We must be kandawaka. Glory to God. We must kandileba taya. Hallelujah. We must be ready to scrap, to stand and say, no way. The anointing can only the anointing can leave you empty. You didn't hear what I just said. The anointing can be. That's why you see, brother and sister. That's why you see. Look around. Most people who are very close to the anointing. Hallelujah. They have not benefited totally to the anointing. Do you know why? They disrespect the anointing. Glory to God. They, they, they minimize the anointing. They say, ah, this one we eat. We eat kaunga with him. We eat chapati with him. We eat uh, uh, apples with him. Hallelujah. And other people who come around who don't know the anointing properly realize the anointing so much they benefit from it a hundred percent and these people around they don't these people around they benefit 20 percent 30 percent there why they are minimizing what they are serving they don't understand what they are serving glory to god and those who come and they say they say my god my god this is happening and they bow down 90 percent they get a hundred percent back in return you didn't hear what i just said so let me tell you something this is elisa elisa is a elijah is a mean man he wants to leave Elisa with nothing. Totally nothing. Go to God. Then listen what he's telling him. Hallelujah. And then Elijah said to him, Stay here, please, for the Lord has sent me to Jordan. You hear that? Gilga, Beswell, Hallelujah. Jericho. Now Jordan. Four places. These are four times. Elijah is Elijah is speaking directly to Elisa. To tell him to stay so that he does not get the anointing so that he gets zero you didn't hear what i just said it is in the bible elijah is saying he now is saying the lord has sent me to jordan but he said as the lord lives and your soul lives i will not leave you so the two of them went together the 50 men of the sons of the prophet went and stood facing them at a distance why Jordan. Now Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and stuck the, the water, and it divided this way and that way. And the two of them crossed over on dry ground. Hallelujah. And so it was when they had crossed over that, that Elijah said to Elisa, Ask what you may, that may I do for you before I am taken away from you. And Elisa said, Please let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. God, God. So he said, You have asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me, when i am taken from you hallelujah it shall be for you hallelujah but if not so it shall not be it shall not be so you hear that that's that's what elijah is mean man of god you didn't hear what i just said mean man of god the man has served him but he wants to leave him empty that was his purpose when he was telling him stay at galuga stay at Beswell. Stay here, Jericho. I'm going to the Jordan now. Stay here. Huh? You hear that? The man crossed the lake and the water. Now listen the fifth thing. You'll be surprised, my dear brothers and sisters. And then it happened. As they continued on and talked, that suddenly a chariot of fire appeared with the horses of fire and separated the two of them. And Elijah went up by a wild wind into heaven. And Elisa saw it and he cried out and said, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and his horsemen. So he saw him no more. And he took all of his own clothes and tore them into two pieces. And he also took up the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him and went back and stood by 
the bank of the river. Then he took the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him and stuck the waters and said, Where is the Lord of Elijah? And when he had stuck the water, it was divided this way and that way, and the Elisa crossed. And now when the sound of the prophets were on the, from Jericho saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah rests on Elisa. Hallelujah. And they came and met him and bowed to the ground before him. You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? You are now realizing this man, Elijah. Uh, does not want to release the anointing. You hear, you hear that uh, even when he's going to heaven, glory to God, uh, he makes sure he lives by a wild wind. Do you know what a wild wind is? The Bible said they had crossed Jordan River. They had went in the desert. Uh, a wild wind is that thing you see which stands up like this. Uh, it's, it's, it's like what they call a tornado. Uh, these days, if you know what a tornado does, what a tornado Round about, round about. That's what they call a wild wind. <laughs> you see that? Uh, the man there in the desert, mm, the man has told him, I know you are going. I'm not leaving you until you have given the anointing. And the man said, I need a double portion. And he said, if you see me go, uh, you get the double portion. You hear that? Uh, and I'm telling you, the man has to bring a chariot of fire. Number one. <laughs> and separates them. Go to God. And then the chariot of fire are not enough. He brings a wild wind. Why? To raise up that dust from that desert. So that by the time when he's leaving, Elisa does not see. You're not hearing what I'm talking about. By the time so that he leaves, Elisa again does not see when he's leaving. Elisa had to stood against all the odds. The, the man was bringing up a wild wind so that Elisa can do like this. Oh, the, 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 the dust is too much to cover his eyes. So that he does not see. But Elisa said, I rather lose the eyes and I see him go and I talk about him and I get the anointing. When I get the anointing, I will speak to the eyes to get him. You hear what I'm talking about? These are guys who are standing against every odd. He's saying, I rather lose the eyes and I look in that dust, open eyes like this and I see him go and I say, Father, my father, the chariots of Israel and his horsemen. Hallelujah. And I get the mantle. And the dust falls in my eyes. And then I get the mantle. I put it upon my eyes. And my eyes get healed. And I go with the anointing. They are standing against every old. You are joking, my dear friends. You must arise up and stand against the odds. Go to God. Stand up against the odds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stop chickening out. Stop chickening out because of circumstances. Stop chickening out because of what is that attacking you. You must stand against the odds. God is that God, the anointing. They stood against the odds. Go to God. Guys that got the anointing, they stood against the odds. The man was chased four times. How many of us, our masters can tell us, don't come and we say we are coming. They can say, you can stop and say, I'm going with you. How many, times, how many of us even know what is going to happen? Elisa knew that Elijah was leaving. Some of us even don't know the space of our pastor. We don't know even the anointing they walk under. Hallelujah. We don't know even the gift they have. Elisa knew that Elijah was leaving. Some of us will miss opportunities because even when the man of God is speaking under the anointing, we cannot sense that this is a man of God now speaking under the anointing. This is a man of God who is speaking under the power of Bosho. We can't even tell. We cannot even tell that now this is a man of God speaking under the anointing. Go to God. Now this is a man of God speaking under, just, uh, under the power of water and Bosho. Hallelujah. We can't even differentiate. Elisa knew that Elijah was living. The man was connected with Elijah to the level that he knew when the time was ready to leave. That's why you see when he told him, stay here. He said, I'm not staying here. I am going where you are going. I know Elijah, you are leaving. And he was not telling him. He was not telling him that you are leaving. Uh -uh. Even though Elijah went to the toilet, hallelujah, Elisa st stopped, uh, stayed on the doorway of the toilet because he knew that man can be in the toilet and they collect him and he gets away.
You are not hearing what I'm talking about. Whenever you went, you went there. Whenever step you took, you took there. Even if you went to the toilet, you went to the doorway of the toilet. And say, so I will stand here until this man gets out. If he's taken by a wild wind from the toilet, I will see him and say, Father, you cannot leave me here with nothing. Throw something. These are guys who are ready to stand against every odd. Hallelujah. The sons of the prophet, they are telling Elisa, Do you, I'm telling you, you're going to tackle this even tomorrow. Tomorrow we are coming back in Exodus chapter 2. I feel the anointing is so much about this. The Lord is going to serve someone and deliver someone. I'm telling you, we will return in Exodus chapter 2 tomorrow. But let me tell you something because I'm seeing time is chasing us like nothing. I'm telling you. Elijah and Elisa gives you a perfect example of guys that stand against the odds. <laughs> Glory to God. You must understand the spirit operating upon your pastor. You must understand the spirit operating upon the man of God whom you believe in. Hallelujah. You must know how to differentiate when he's speaking under the anointing and the power of God and when he's not. Hallelujah. Because the issue is one. Men of God are people. You hear that? They are used of the Lord but again they are human beings at times when they are just speaking with you just like friends. Hallelujah. They are just talking with you just like friends. There are times they can be talking to you like a friend and in the midst of a time a click happens like this. They go in the spirit. They stop talking like they are talking before in the next minute, hallelujah, and they begin speaking in the spiritual realm. Can you understand and detect and know, oh, now he has changed. He's not the same. He's not the same person. You may be eating porridge with him. You may be taking tea with him. Glory to God. And the spirit falls upon him and he begins to prophesy. It happened on Samuel. Samuel was on supper. You hear that? Samuel was in the supper with Saul. Hallelujah. And in the moment that the spirit of God came upon him and he began to prophesy upon Saul and told him tomorrow as you leave, this will happen to you and this and this and this and this. He told him the whole journey. You hear that? Can you be able to detect? Someone may say, uh, I, I think he's still speaking because uh, we're just enjoying here a meal. You are mistaken. You're going to miss opportunities. Hallelujah. Me, I know what I'm talking about. I've talked to people. I've prophesied to people. I've talked and I've revealed to people what is happening in their life. And they have taken it just like that. Go to God. And then after they come back after some months, some few months, and then they tell you, Pastor, you remember, you remember? Uh-huh. You told me about such and such a thing. Uh-huh. But I don't remember the other details. Eh? <laughs> I don't remember the other details. But I remember you told me about this person. Now I've met them. This thing you have told me, I have met them, but I don't know what to do. I don't remember what you told me to do. And I said, look at this person. What can I help you with? Me, I told you, I was under the spirit. The spirit was helping you. I don't also remember. <laughs> you hear that? And then somebody's there. Can you seek the Lord again so that you can hear from him again? And you tell me what, what you meant by this. And you say, what can I do for you? The Lord was speaking to you. You left the words there. <laughs> Glory to God. You could not differentiate who was talking. Amen. That's the, that is the difference this guy had. That is the different people who are ready to stand against the odds. They have. They can distinguish between the anointing and just me at all. They can know now it is the anointing speaking. They can know now the man of God is the one speaking. Just trying to, uh, uh, we are just having a, a rare talk, a medium talk. And they can know when they have changed and trickled in the spirit. That's what was with Elisa. He knew that Elijah, huh? I call Elijah the mini man of God. <laughs> Elijah was mean. Even when he's, the lo you guys, if you're talking about a mini pastor, huh? a mean, not a mean child, no mean, uh, as in, as in uh, somebody who is uh, hard in releasing things. That's what I mean. Mean is mean person. He's mean on his money. Hallelujah. He's mean on his car. That's what I'm talking about. Elijah was a mean man of God. Was mean. You didn't hear what I just said. Even me, when I go to heaven, I'll tell him, Elijah, why were you so mean? Glory to God. He was a mean man of God. But he had an anointing. Glory to God. Elijah was told by the Lord on the mountain in the cave that God down huh, and anoint Elisa. 
Amen. He will succeed me after you. You hear that? The Lord told him, go and anoint Elisa. He will succeed after you. He will carry on the work and, and do my work which you have not completed. He knew, but he came down. He met Elisa. He was farming with the 12 tractors. And the Bible says he struck him with his cloth. You hear that? When he struck him, Elisa turned around huh, and said, Master, wait, and I go and, and say goodbye to my, to my family and whatsoever, and I sell even this structure, and I give them all the money, and then I'll come and follow you. Do you know what Elijah told him? What do you have to do with me? That's what Elijah replied. Read your Bible, you see. He was a mean man of God. He was mean, but he had the anointing. Working with him uh, and surviving with him, hallelujah. You had to be a man who can stand against every odd. Stand against every odd. The man chased Elisha four times, telling him, stay here. He doesn't want to give him the anointing. The man has served him for years. But he wants to leave him empty handed. Mean man of God. You didn't hear what I just said. You must be ready to stand against the odds. I don't know what you're speaking about your pastor. I don't know what you're saying about your pastor. You know, there are, there are, there are things people say when they meet the pastor. There is what they say when they are there, when they are not with him. What you say when you are not with your pastor is what is important. Go to God. Hallelujah. I don't know what you're talking about your pastor. I don't know what you're saying about your pastor, but I'm telling you, become... A person who can stand against every odd. And say if he has done that, that is his business. Me, I need the anointing upon his life. I need that anointing to work for me. Even though he's telling me, stay in Galka, I'm going to Beswell. I'll go with him in Beswell. I need that anointing. Even though he says, I remain now in Beswell, I'm going to Jericho. I'm going to Jericho with him. I need the, it is the anointing upon that man and that woman of God that you need. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It is the anointing and the barrier that you need upon that man of God. You need that anointing for your healing. You need that anointing for your businesses to move. You need that anointing for your marriage to stabilize. You need that anointing for what you do to stabilize. Why are you so much care about, about other things? Huh? Why are you so much care about that other thing? When that man is speaking to me, he's very tough. He, 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 nah, when he, he's not even no love in him. You need the anointing. When you get the anointing, hallelujah, other things will work out for you. Don't you use wisdom? Don't you read? Stand against the old. If it's very tough on you, you what you need is the anointing. I don't know if you're hearing what I'm talking about. You what you need is the anointing. Glory to God. Stand against the old. Can't you abide and overlook the toughness he uses? Can't you? My God and my God and my God. Hey, 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 you know, when that, when that man calls you, hallelujah, when that woman calls you, he wants to speak to you, he makes her sit there for over an hour waiting for him. Can't you wait an hour? Can't you wait an hour? You feel an hour is very big. Considering what you're going to take away, these are guys who are waiting days. They've been telling them don't come and they say, oh, come. Go to God. Some of you, when they say, say at this, and you say, I'm going to stay. You cannot even say, ah, what are you chasing me from? Pastor, I'm going with you. I'm going to go with you. I'm going to go with Pastor. Pastor, go with you. I'm going to 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 go with you. Baku China. Baku China. Now, who is the Kuchina? I'm going to go with you. Na gamba sisi gana giri gari. Ngeenda na awe beswe ili. Kwa batu ke beswe ili reja na mga masigari beswe ili togeenda. Ngeenda ze yeriko. Na mga mba mwoyo kuma ngusha alimuna munga anja alimuna munga. Ngeenda na awe yeriko. Kwa batu ke yeriko na mga masigari yeriko. Ngeenda kusada munga kwa yoro dani. Ngeenda munga mba ina jantumi. Ta munga mba anti katona antuwala. Munga mba munga mba ina jantumi. Ouli ache munga mba. Ah, ni na muga ma, hmm, nenda nenda, ni na na weja kuto miye sebo, nishimani yoyaga na kuduka, ngatondeke deka antu, ote koko ndeke na kantu. 
Bwe basa ya rolo dani. Nara bu musajja nga remedeko. O musajja nga imiridi. Awani sama genda guna. Aleluya na mga mana. Echi chicho ya gara mwerisa. Elisa chicho ya gara. Oteke na chengu gamba. Toro oza muno bagenda kuka mila girigani. Bakubuli ze girigani chicho ya gara. Haa. Hama futa geta go gago verida. Ngoma zo kutundo omoyo. Ngomi zen sana. Ngomi zo omoyo ngen sana. Feri kuji. Oba gohuli ya chengu gamba. Buono da omo kekera kekera. Gaja kubu kakagende kumulala. Toguli dena chengamba. Mukama wa feba ziwe. Praise the name of the God. I'm telling you, if you're gonna chase the anointing, you're gonna be committed. Glory to God. You're gonna be sold out. Hallelujah. You are gonna be sold out and be standing against every order. There are times where the anointing will feel like it is pushing you away. You need to stand still and say, No, I am going with that. This anointing is going. It was Elisa who was telling Elijah who was telling Elisa, stay here. And Elisa said, I'm not staying. I'm going where you are going. You are joking. When they crossed the Jordan River on the fourth time, then Elijah spoke out directly and said, what do you want before I'm taken? The man knew he was being taken. He wanted to run away with all the anointing. You are not jo you are joking on here what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, Elisa died without giving the the triple anointing to Gehaz. Did you hear that? Gehaz served Elisa. Hallelujah. But he was creep. Hallelujah. He was not faithful. And Elisa died without giving him the anointing. You are joking. The man died with the anointing. He never gave it to Gehaz. Gehaz died with reproach. Why? He was not ready to stand against the odds. When the master left the wealth and the things to Naaman. Try to speak to him that our God is not about your property. You cannot buy him with your gold and silver to work for you. He can work for you minus that. He's trying to teach Naaman a lesson because he was not a Jew. Hallelujah. Ege has ran away and said, give me the property, give me the gold and silver. He died with reproach. He died with what? With the reproach. Instead of that triple anointing. He was not ready to stand against the odds. He was not ready to stand against the odds. Brothers and sisters, we must arise above our lives, above what we think and believe, and stand against the odds and seek where the anointing is and get the anointing. I'm telling you, me, if somebody has the anointing and I need that anointing upon his life, and even if he abuses me, I say, thank you, sir. Do you didn't hear what I just said? Because it happened to these guys, and they went with the anointing. You think it was easy for Elisa? When he knew his master was leaving, and Elisa knew his master wanted to leave him empty-handed, you think it was easy for him? He was there in delusion, saying, I've served this man. I've been serving him all the days of my life, serving him with nothing, with all faithfulness. He wants to go minus giving me anything. Well, as the Lord had told him, anoint Elisa. The Lord had told him, anoint Elisa. You hear that? But the man wanted to go without giving him anything. You are joking. They are mean men of God. They have the anointing, but they want to die with the anointing. You need to find means of taking that anointing from them. How is that done? You need to stand against every odd. Overlook some things. They are very cheap things you need to overlook if you're chasing upon the anointing. They are mean things you need to overlook. They are just nonsense things you just need to overlook. <laughs> and focus on your goal. Your goal is to get the anointing. Overlook some things. You know the pastor has taken this so and so in his car. Mm? You know the pastor now nah, we has favored so and so. He's the one is giving this and this. Me, I am here serving like nothing. He's not looking at me. He's only looking at that. You don't need that. You need the anointing upon that man, that woman of God. Overlook that. Overlook that. You know, when he was calling, the people were supposed to go to his home for his home warming, warming party. He did not invite me. How can he not invite me? Me, who is a, a, the chief usher next to him. Overlook that. <laughs> Look on your goal. Stand against the odds. Glory to God. 
Let me hear some me. If I see some, I have somebody who is listening. Overlook some things and look upon your goal. Elisha overlooked them and looked upon the anointing and said, Even if Elijah wants to go minus giving me nothing, I must get stuck on. The man even brought wind to raise up dust to cover the eyes of Elisa so that he cannot see because he told him, If you see me go, you will get it. If you don't see me go, you will get nothing. Nothing. The man had to bring dust in the air by the wind so that Elisha cannot see nothing, so that he can get nothing. You didn't hear what I just said. But the man looked his eyes like this and said, Master, I have seen you. Dust was falling in his eyes, but it was like this. Do you think it is easy to open up your eyes like this when the dust is raising up? This man was focused on the anointing. He was like this. Master, my father, the chariots of Israel, huh? and the horsemen there, I have seen you. And he fell down. And the clock fell down. And he touched, 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 touched the area. He was not seeing. You guys, you need to understand the revelation. The man, why do you think the Bible said, and the man went in the whirlwind? You think Elijah was, Elijah was saying, when dust covers your eyes, can you look and see? When Elijah left, the man, before he had a thing fall down, pa. And he said, ah, that has to be the cloth. He just tore the clothes he had, and he looked, looked, he touched, touched, he touched, 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 and caught the, the cloth and said, ah, I have gotten it. And he put it on. When he put it on, the eyes were healed. You hear that? When he put it on, the eyes that were infected with, with, with dust and whatsoever, they were healed. He started to see. He got the cloth. He went to the river. He arrived on the river Jordan. He said, where is the God of Elisha? On the waters, the water separated, situated. That's what you need. That's a goal you need. The others are just nonsense. The others are happening upon you to make you miss what you're supposed to get. They are just nonsense. Overlook them. The Bible even says it is wise to overlook a matter. Why do you ever overlook a matter? I'm not, I did not say compromise. You heard me well. I said overlook some issues. There are things we spend our time a lot and we miss the anointing. Go to God. We are in that committee. I gave a lot of wisdom. I gave a lot of knowledge about what we should do and how we should run that project. Hallelujah. But it's amazing when they came to commend people who were, uh, have done something about that project. You Can you imagine the path that is not mentioned even in my name? <laughs> Stand against the odds and overlook it. Praise the name of the Lord. What you need is not a pastor to mention your name. What you need is the anointing upon that pastor. Me, I'm telling you. You be there, focus on that. They didn't mention my name in a committee meeting. I gave the master advice. I gave the whole review. How come they're not talking about me? You will miss the anointing because the anointing does not come by complaints. It comes by serving. Did you hear that? The anointing does not come by complaints. It comes by serving. Do you tell the Lord, Father, I'm thankful. I'm grateful to you. I now give in my wisdom, but they, they, they don't even mention me. I am thankful. I will serve you. I need the glory of God. I need the honoring of God. I'm telling you, the Lord will open for you a way you have never known. Even those they have been mentioning, they will be forgotten. Glory to God. Praise the name of the living God. Father, I pray for my people. I pray for the people online in the mighty name of Jesus that you will bless them. You will lift them, my God. You glorify your name upon their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah Jireh, we pray for the people who are online right now in the mighty. We are going to return in Exodus chapter 1 and 2 tomorrow in the name of Jesus. I'm telling you the Lord has taken us to another level, to another place, but I'm telling you we are going to return in the mighty name of Jesus. You must know we must stand against the odds by 
by the Spirit of the living God. Jehovah, we thank you, we praise you, we magnify you, an awesome God, you're powerful God. You are a glorious God in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father. I praise you and I glorify your name. In the name of Jesus, my Father, Lord, I pray, inspire your people, ignite your people, raise your people, favor your people, my God, give them the courage and the strength to stand against every odd in the name of Jesus, my God, Lord, we pray, you will empower your people, you will empower your people with your glory, you will empower your people with your glory, my God, Lord, I pray, my Father, you will empower your people with your glory, with your favor, with the anointing, Lord, give them a spirit of sustenance say the spirit that stands against every order i know they are all fighting them in their lives some are ancestral some are from the background some are from their families my god some of them their ancestors lord that they have been fighting them they have been fighting that clan there's something that is wrong with that clan something that is wrong with the society something that is wrong with that culture they have been fighting from old my god from old lord every generation that arises up has to fight it my god lord i pray that this generation that is here will be the generation that will have the power of sustenance will have the power to find an uprooter will have the power to fight an uprooter we have the power to fight an uproot my god lord amakaraboshiara yada daba sandaraba daboto potaka randele bashaya akamandele baya we pray for your people lord we pray for your people my god sister miki sister jessica sister joanna sister patusha lord we raise your Made a water card by Yaya, Asa Olive Lord, Brother Saula, Sister Reste, Willa Bangria La Kramajari about a wire, Mashata Karabaya, Rwanda Rabada Koramaya Rabo Sakata Ravajendia, Araba Sakataya, Mashakata Yababa. We pray for the people online, my God. We pray for them, Lord. Raise up your Yamashaya, raise up your Wakaramaya, raise up your Rabba Sharamaya, raise up your Komaria Banataya, we can deliver cruise Yabaria Mamro Rabasani Rabara. Rata ya kayama, randa raba baya, mashaka tayaba, randa raba saya, haya wada kromo jile maria bara busari ya bakra madaba, bila wagori faro Lord, bila wagori faro magara, bila wagori faro Jehovah, bila wagori faro magara, bila walita da po Jehovah, bila walita da my God mashaya, pika ndari ya shaya, uaraba kuwa nana, ya niri busaya baba, ya kamana mawa shaya, uaraba saya baba, uruiha. In heaven, my God, but it's only you, Lord. Or we have in heaven, my God, but only you, my God, my Shakaya. Or we have in heaven, my God, but it's only you, Jehovah Jireh. You are the Masayaba. You are the Krandaraba. You are the Vambrayaba. You are the Kroshabaya. You are the Landarawaya. You are the Bakramasha. Raise your glory, my God. Raise your power, my God. Raise your Lamana, my God. Let the glory of your Kamano was your Brataya. Let the glory of your Makroboshia Lamaya. Let the glory of Yahweh Kroboshi be our Rabbaya, Riyala Basaya, Manda Rabbaya, Ruakata Yama Maya, Ruashakata Ya, Yele Basaya Mama. Raise your glory, my God. Raise your glory, my God. Give your people power. Give your people strength. Give your people strength, my God, to stand against every order. Give your people strength to stand against every order in their lives, in their society, in their arena. Daya. Give them power to stand against every order. Give them power to stand up against every order. Give them power to stand against every order. By the spirit of the living God, my God. By the glory of the living God, my God. It is your favor. It is your strength. I know, Father, when the old rises up against us, Lord, at times we don't even have the strength to stand. At times we don't even have the strength to stand. Lord, I pray for strength upon your people. I pray for strength upon your people. I pray for strength upon your your people. Give them strength to stand. Give them strength to stand. Give them strength to stand. Give them strength to stand by the spirit of the living God. May they be strengthened. May they be strengthened. May they be strengthened. May they be strengthened by the power of the Holy Ghost. Your glory, my God. Your power, my God. Cover them with your glory. Cover them with your glory, O Lord. Cover them with your glory, O my God. Cover them with your glory, my God. By the spirit of the living God. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, O Lord. 
I carry a maya, mata ya kaya, rakara baba ya, ruasata ya baba, rendi ribusi, I keep fujima ya, mandi ribusa ya, rikiti ribu ya, rendi ribusa ya, I keep bundi ya ba, mandu ribusa ya, glory, 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 may your glory overtake the other baya, may your glory overtake the other makaraba, may your glory overtake the mario shanda ya ba, may your glory overtake the lama krubusha, patu pana la ba krubusha nda la baya, ribu sakata ya baba, ribu shikili buri ya baba, masata ya, jakara baba, wana raba baya, raba kata ya, jakara baba, rwandi ribu saya, panti ribu saya, give us strength people rama ya, father they will focus, they will overlook matters, they will overlook trivial matters, they will overlook the trivial matters, and focus on the anointing, and focus on the glory, and focus on the glory, and focus on the cause of the glory, because of the power, they will overlook the Maria Bushaya, Father Yabakrani and and focus on the power of the Lord, and focus on the glory of the Lord, and focus on the Alamana Wadibu Sariya Kandaya, that they will receive the crown of their glory, they will receive the crown of their work, Lord, they will receive the crown of their kingdom, my God, open up the space of the Rima, open up the space of the Rima, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, and raise your people, raise your people in strength, make them stand, make them stand, make them stand, make them stand against the odds, make them stand against the odds, Lord, I release the anointing upon my life, to Kobana Yahweh, I list the anointing upon my life to affect your people, to affect your people, to make them stronger, to make them powerful, to raise them from every ditch. Lord, I pray every ditch where everybody is. Lord, raise them out. Take them out, my God. Take them out, my God. Every ditch where they are. Take Take them out, take them out, take them out of the ditch, my God. Come the Mambro Shalabaya. Take them out by the Spirit of the Living God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus, glory to God in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, oh my God. Praise the Lord, oh my God. Focus on the glory. Focus on the glory. Lord, I pray that your people will focus on the glory, not on the trust for issues, Lord. They will focus on the glory of God. They will focus on the power of God to work in their lives. Every trivial matter in their lives. We come against them and we disorient them by the spirit of a living God. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray bring healing upon you your people, bring healing upon their hearts, some of them Lord they were deserted, some of them my God they were hurt, they are saying pass I have been hurt, there is somebody here who is saying pass I have been hurt, what can I do Lord I pray, you heal their hearts oh Lord, heal every heart my God, heal every broken heart Lord, heal every broken heart, some were hurt more, they were hurt by their husband, their wife, their children, their friends, some of them they have been dismantled, but they have been People backbited against them. They have fought them and they are them. Lord, I pray you create healing upon their hearts. My God, I pray you create healing upon their hearts. Bring healing upon souls. Bring healing upon their heart, oh Lord. Bring healing upon their heart. Every brokenness, every brokenness that broke their heart. Every brokenness that broke their heart. Lord, I pray you bring healing by the spirit of the living God. Every spirit of broken desire and strength. And be a dire. I attack and I brought my God. That heart that brought stress. That heart that brought me labaya. I attack and I brought by the spirit of the living God. Let that anxiety die. Let that anxiety die. Let that depression die. Every spirit of depression. Get off your life. Get off your life. Let every spirit of depression go out of your life. Every spirit of broken heart. Let it live your life. For Forgive and deliver and acquire. Deliver my God. Deliver my Father. Deliver your people from depression. Deliver your people from anxiety. Deliver your people from hearts of the heart. You are the only one who can touch their heart. You are the only one who can touch their heart with your finger. Extend your finger, O oh God. Extend your finger, O oh God. I 
and heal and deliver. Extend your finger, O oh God, and heal and deliver. And heal and deliver. Extend your finger, O oh God, and heal and deliver. Some of the people, my God, they have lost business. And they have big Kanamaya. And they have been Romania. Because they lost that business. Because they lost that money. Lord, I pray for healing on their heart. You are the owner that gives beautiful ashes. Every ash in their heart. Lord, I declare, let there be healing. Every heart, my God, I declare, let there be healing. Let there be healing by the Spirit of the living God. I declare healing every broken heart. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. We are still going up to day number 90 by the anointing of the God of God. And I'm telling you, we have entered the realm where we are going to stand against every order. We are going to stand against every order. The Lord is calling you as a child of God, as a son of God. Stand against every order. You hear that? Stand against every order. The power of God is going to back you up and you will overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Glory to God in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, President of the Living God. I'm telling you, brother and sisters, uh, this is a season uh, of standing against the odds. Hallelujah, we are going to stand against the odds. And I was telling you, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are soon going to broadcast our services of pop. Hallelujah, live on YouTube. Glory to God. Uh, we, are be, we shall be sharing you the links once the, the stuffing has been uh, done. Hallelujah, they're opening up channels for you uh, on Twitter, on YouTube, on Periscope. Glory to God. And there are some other smart daily monitor something like that uh, you can even tell us something you know you can tell us uh, a social media you know so that we can also open it there and then we can broadcast live glory to God we thank God we got a laptop which can work that work in the name of Jesus and I'm telling you God is gonna bless somebody who saw that seed in the mighty name of Jesus may God bless the person that saw that seed of that laptop may he glorify your finances and take them to another level may you see double portion for your seed May you see double portion for your seed in the name of Jesus. And I'm trusting God we are going on YouTube. Those are the ones which I'm sure are of YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Periscope. Hallelujah. If you have any other channel, you can tell us that there is a media like this. Can you also go it on? There are some people there who can uh, view the service. And I don't even link them. Uh, we, we shall be on link them. We shall be on, uh, on, on Periscope. We shall be on YouTube. We shall be on Twitter and Instagram. Go to God. We shall be sharing the channels very soon. Uh, we shall be sharing the links very soon. Uh, that IT person is is is, is ready with or uh, with opening up those sites and whatsoever and putting them into uh, into working. Uh, then we shall be sharing them so that you know he's still working on that. And then my, my God, I'm excited. The in the name of Jesus, the word of God is going higher and higher. In the mighty name of Jesus, glory to God. We are going far and far. Hallelujah. Of your friends who are saying we cannot watch using uh, uh, Facebook, we are about to come on YouTube. Glory to God, Hallelujah! We are about to come on YouTube, Hallelujah! God, God, and uh, the beauty of uh, the beauty of uh, the, the, the the laptop and the technology is that uh, if God allows, uh, we shall be uh, live streaming all of them at once in the name of Jesus. That means uh, they can get the service at the same time. Uh, with when you're getting it, that is something very, very powerful. I'm telling you, glory to God. So thank you so much for the sower of that laptop. It's going to take us miles and miles. It's going to help us also in ministry work and doing some uh, office work and administrative work. It is a real privilege in Jesus' mighty name and accomplishing great tasks for the ministry in the name of Jesus. Although it's also helping the media ministry to be able to broadcast everything we need and, and change things here and there as in videos, uh, converting videos and whatsoever so you can broadcast them those who want to see and what the lord is doing over here in the name of jesus so we, we 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 are very grateful we are very grateful in the mighty name of jesus we're very grateful for that laptop may god bless you 
and increase you in Jesus' my name. But we want to tell you again, uh, continue others also who, who are partners. Uh, you have not yet become a partner. Become a partner with us. I'm telling you, when you become a partner for Mwera Miracle Center, you are helping us to reach many people. Many people depend on a ministry for food, hallelujah, for necessities of life, soap, clothing, school fees, everything. So help us. When you help us and stand with us with your partnership seed, then we can help other people in Jesus' my name. I told you, in Uganda, we are still under quarantine. Hallelujah. Quarantine is here on. People need food. Hallelujah. They need clothes. They need soap to use. Hallelujah. They need necessities of life uh, which they cannot access. And they are looking on to the church. Amen. So and tell us, partner with us with the master partnership seed. You can decide and say, Pastor Davis, I'll tithe with you. Your tithe will do a lot of work here. A lot of work. Glory <laughs> God. You can decide to tithe with us. Hallelujah. Uh, your tithe will do a lot of work. I'm telling you in Jesus my name you can help us if you want to give you can inbox me and tell me Pastor Davis I want to give my seed I want to give my tithe I want to sow my seed in this and then I'll give you the details when you're outside you can use Western Union or if you can use a banker transfer that's what we call a TTT or a wire transfer we can I can give you the details of our account and then you can wire there the money but inbox me first hallelujah and let me know then we shall provide you with the details in Jesus my name. I'm telling you right now we are focusing on building the school we have started buying materials hallelujah continue helping us go to God continue helping us as we buy more materials we need more materials we need another seven trips of bricks hallelujah we need sand strips of sand we need gravels hallelujah we need cement hallelujah we need iron sheets we need the costs of the engineer who will be building. And so we can put up this vocation of this school. Five rooms is what we shall start with, with five vocations. Tailoring, welding, bricklaying, IT, and confessional. All uh, cake and bakery making. Glory to God. We know when we give these skills to these young people, we will also win them to the Lord and make them disciples. And remember, they will come and learn and go. And others will come and learn and go. You are going to do a great work of the Lord. You are going to reach miles and miles. Amen. In reaching to the lost by the Spirit of the Living God by this school. Hallelujah. And I told you, like I told you, that everybody who's assist us in building a school, we shall put their names at the wall of the school. Why? We shall put up a grinding stone where we'll put all the names of the people that help us with the schools. So that people can pray for you and for your children for generations and generations. Think about it. Hallelujah. So sow a seed where your mouth and lies cannot eat it. Where it can bring glory and salvation to the men of souls. I told you this is going to be a Christian school. We shall mentor children and the young people to become disciples of our Lord. I'm telling you they will come when they are believing in other things. They will live by the time they get their skills. They will live when they are believing in the Lord Jesus christ and they'll be disciples to disciple others you're going to do a great work by standing into the school so you can say one time seed for the school hallelujah you can say pastor davis i'll contribute my partnership seed glory to god for the school and god will bless you and lift you higher and higher in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah so if you're in uganda you can use that mobile number there if you're outside you can use western union hallelujah oh uh, we can give you the details uh, for the wire transfer if you want to make to write out a check to us for the work of the lord glory to god we can give you, you box me and tell me then we'll give you the details in jesus my name glory to god may the lord bless you and increase you pastor olive sends in our greetings i am waiting to see you on day number 83 don't miss this week we are tackling against standing against odds. Glory to God. If you miss a service, better go and watch it so that you can follow up. Hallelujah. This is the number 82. We are going on the number 83. Don't miss out in the mighty name of Jesus. And God will bless you and lift you higher in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for the tithers, for the sowers. I pray for the tithers, for the sowers. Lord, may you bless them with double, double. Open up the windows of heaven as you promised. That when you people tithe, you'll open up the windows of heaven and give them a blessing that there will be no room enough to contain it. Father, I pray that you'll open up the windows of heaven for those people for that tithe has. Open the windows of heaven that you have no room to store the blessing you have bring my God and rebuke the devourer and the conqueror. And their fruits will not fall, their vines will not fall, their jobs will not fall, not in their due season. And the nations will look upon them and they say, look how blessed.
And we give you praise because we know your word is powerful and perfect. Amen. In Jesus' name. I love you so much, my dear brethren. Hallelujah. And I wish you all the best. And I wish you every nice time. This is Paul, Power of Prayer. P-O-P, Power of Prayer. We are here daily, 5 a.m. East African Standard Time. That is 7 p.m. Uh, U.S. time, 9 p.m. U.S. time, and 10 p.m. U.S. time at the same time. Because I know they told me that in U.S. there are different time zones. Hallelujah, God, God. So uh, by those time friends, they told me that is when it is 5 a.m. here in Uganda. And the other way it is 5 p.m. In Jesus, mighty name, God, God, 9 p.m., 10 p.m., and 7 p.m., God, God. May the Lord bless you as you watch. Share the link with your people. Let them come on and pray. The biggest thing you can do for someone is to offer them prayer. Is to offer them prayer. So by doing so, sharing the ring to others and people on your wall and whatsoever, you are sharing prayer and you are reaching miles and miles. God, will God, and the Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. We love you so much. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.